Imagine you're a pilot descending through thick clouds, unable to see the runway. How do you ensure a perfect landing? The answer lies in a critical component of the instrument landing system, the glide slope. Welcome back to our ILS series. In today's video, we'll break down how the glide slope works, why it's crucial for safe landings, and how pilots use it in real-world approaches. Let's dive in. The glide slope is the vertical guidance system of ILS. While the localizer ensures the aircraft stays lined up with the runway horizontally, the glide slope makes sure the plane descends at the right angle, typically around three degrees. This helps pilots avoid being too high or too low during approach. But how does the system actually work? The glide slope transmitter, located near the end of the runway, sends out two overlapping radio beams. The upper beam, modulated at 90 Hz, and the lower beam, modulated at 150 Hz. If the aircraft is above the correct glide path, the 90 Hz signal is stronger, telling the pilot they're too high. If they're below the path, the 150 Hz signal dominates, meaning they need to climb slightly. When both signals are equal, the aircraft is perfectly aligned for descent. Pilots follow this guidance using their IILS instrument, which displays a glide slope indicator. If the needle moves up, the aircraft is too low. If it moves down, they're too high. The goal is to keep it centered for a smooth descent. So why is this so important? The glide slope is essential for low visibility landings. When combined with the localizer, it creates a precision approach, allowing pilots to land even when they can't see the runway until the very last moment. This is especially crucial for auto land systems in category two and three ILS landings, where planes land entirely on automation. Let's take a real world example. And here's what pilots see when approaching an airport with ILS. Notice the glide slope needle staying centered as the aircraft smoothly descends. If the needle moves up, the plane needs to descend more. If it moves down, it means they're sinking too quickly. In autopilot mode, the aircraft automatically follows the glide slope, making minor corrections to maintain the ideal descent path until touchdown. Of course, no system is perfect. The glide slope can be affected by interference from terrain or large objects near the runway, causing slight deviations. If the system fails, pilots must rely on alternative approaches like a localizer-only approach or VNAV vertical navigation in modern aircraft. So there you have it. The glide slope is a crucial part of the ILS, ensuring a safe and smooth descent in even the worst visibility. Now that you understand how pilots stay on the perfect glide path, in our next episode, we'll explore another essential component of ILS, marker beacons. These help pilots know how far they are from the runway during the approach. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fascinating aviation insights. And before you go, here's a question for you. What do you think happens when the glide slope fails? Drop your answer in the comments and let's discuss.